Hello, good morning. Today we are going to start a new lecture on spillway design and design problems. Myself, Dr. Polomi Ganguly from Agricultural and Food Engineering Department at IIT Kharagpur is going to take this lecture. So, we have a couple of contents here. Woogie spillway uh, that is going to cover at lecture 46 its design principle and a few problems. So, what is Woogie spillway? Woogie spillway is an important improvement upon free overfall spillway that is the free fall and widely used in concrete masonry arch and buttress dams. Normally, it provides flow over gravity dam section. Now, coming to the next slide. Now, the profile of Ugi spillway is made in accordance with the shape of the lower nappy of free falling jet. So, this is the uh, kind of structure in the Ugi spillway and here this is the upper nappy, the surface of the uh, water profile and the lower nappy which touches the, uh, the spillway structure and this one is the crest of the spillway. The shape of the lower nappy of freely falling jet over the sharp crested wear can be determined by the principle of projectile. In the straight drop spillway type, the jet falls clearly away from the face of the spillway and the gap between the jet and the face is kept ventilated. In the woogie or overfall spill, overflow spillway, the falling water is made to glide over this curved profile of this spillway. So, this is the kind of structure the Ugi spillway has and this part is the upstream phase of the Ugi spillway. So, depend, depending upon the structure, this may be the vertical and it may have some angle. So, this is the kind of structure that we can play around. Now, designing the crest of the Ugi spillway. So, several standard shape have been developed by US Army Corps of Engineer at the waterway experimental station. So, this waterway experimental station, this is uh, abbreviated as WES taking the first word of each uh, of this word. So, such shapes are known as WES standard spillway shape. Now, the equation for downstream profile can be approximated by this simple empirical equation. So, x to the power n where k is a constant, h d is the design head including the velocity head and y is the coordinate, x and y are the coordinates of the point on the crest profile with the origin at the highest point c. And k and n are constant depending upon the slope of the upstream phase. The values of k and n can be retrieved from a table. So, now as we, I was telling that the slope of the upstream phase of the spillway can be varied. And depending upon this shape, and k and n values are also varied. So, for the vertical means it is 90 degree angle, k is 2 and n is 1.85. For 1 is to 3 slope that is 1 horizontal and 3 vertical k value is 1.936 and n value is 1.836. For the slope 1 is to 1.5 that is 1 horizontal and 1 and half vertical k value is 1.939 n is 1.810. So, depending upon the kind of problem generally these values are given beforehand. For a spillway having vertical phase, the downstream crest is given by following empirical equation where x to the power n, n is the constant 2 h d to the power 0 0.85 and multiplied by y, y is the total vertical uh, height from the ground surface up to the spillway top. Now, as I was mentioning the uh, different upstream shape curve are given by WES for different slope. So, this is the example of vertical face where it is kept at a 90 degree angle. And here R1 the radius, 
uh, is 0.5 of HD, R2 uh, is 0.2 of HD, A is the this gap which is given by 0.175 of HD and B the breadth is 0.282 of HD. So, these are the kind of uh, dimension is given for the vertical phase of the Ugi spillway. Now, coming to one horizontal and three vertical, so the spillway shape looks like this and here again the dimensions are given as per the table. So, R1 is 0 0.68 HD, R2 is 0 0.21 HD, A is again this gap 0 0.139 HD and B 0 0.237 HD. And this is the downstream curve and this is the upstream curve in case of 1 is to 3 slope. And now coming to 1 is to 5, 1 is to 1.5 slope. So, this is again a little bit steeper as compared to 1 is to 3 slope and here again the design values are given R1 is 0 0.48 HD, R2 0.22 HD, A is 0 0.115 HD, B is 0 0.214 HD. So, this is the different shape and corresponding dimension of the Ugi spillway crest profile. Now, coming to the next design step. So, now we are going to uh, learn the vertical and the horizontal uh, coordinates and how to design the shape uh, crest profile of the spillway. So, y is a function of x where it is uh, an again an empirical formulation. So, y is 0 0.724 uh, multiplied by x plus 0 0.27 hd, where hd is the design height over the spillway crest whole to the power 1.85 divided by hd. So, this is the kind of equation we are going to use for uh, designing of y given we have x values. So, the upstream shape profile is extends up to the point where x equal to minus 0 0.27 hd, where the hd is the design height. So, coordinates of the upper nape for various wa shape of Wugi spillway are also available and can be utilized in design of training wall and spillway bridges etc. So, this table is given in the next slide, so that you can understand how this profile and coordinates vary with respect to the space. So, this is the table for making Ugi profile. So, as I mentioned, uh, so this is the HD, where HD is the des uh, design height uh, just on the top of the spillway crest and to the surface of the upper surface of the profile. And this is the point where the x y coordinates are located. So, x is the horizontal, x bar is the horizontal distance and y bar is the uh, vertical distance. And this is the upper nape and this is the lower nape. So, based on this uh, calculation, we can design the free fall of the um, spillway crest and the corresponding upper and lower nape. So, this is the table for making Ugi profile. So, x bar by h d and we can get the corresponding values of y, the upper and the lower nape coordinate. So, if we put x equal to 0, the corresponding the lower nape will be minus 0 0.125 and the upper nape is 0 0.831. So, like this we again increase by after certain interval like the tabulated values are given for 0 0.10, then 0 0.25 and that continues up to 5 and we can get a corresponding values of the lower nappy as well as the upper nappy. So, this is the way that we can get the profile of the uh, spillway and corresponding lower and upper nappy. So, now coming to the designing of the crest of the Hoogie spillway. So, coordinates of the lower nape is determined by the crest profile. So, here is the uh, a sample for the Wugi spillway where we can see the coordinates of the upper and the lower nape and plotting of upper nape is useful in determining the clearance between spillway deck bridge and the top level of the training wall. 
and after plotting most of the profile a smooth gradual reverse curvature is provided at the downstream phase. As you can see this part is highlighted in a circle. The reverse curvature turns the flow into the apron of the stealing basin. So, here the apron is located or onto the spillway discharge channel. So, this is shown in the figure and the height we mention uh, keep it as r equal to h y 4 generally and there is some angle on which this design is um, calculated. So, uh, here the angle theta is kept at 60 degree, but depending upon the problem it again varies. Now, the discharge formula. So, this is the sample spillway where h as I explained earlier is the height between the ground and the height of the upper profile of the spillway. H d is the design head, H a is the velocity of approach or it can be explained as approach velocity head and H e is the summation of H a and H d that is sum of velocity of approach as well as the design head. Here it is the total TEL, the tail water and is the water level of the upstream surface of the spillway. So, the design discharge is explained in C equal C L E H to the power 3 by 2, where 3 by 2 is the con, uh, exponent here. So, L E is the length of the spillway crest, C coefficient of discharge that again depends on many factors and we are going to explain the step by step how this coefficient of discharge varies. H e is the total head over the crest including the velocity of approach. So, H e as I explained earlier is a sum of H d and H a where H d is the design head and H a is the approach velocity. Now, the variation of coefficient of discharge. So, the how the coefficient of discharge varies depending upon the problem in hand. So, C depends on the depth of approach or in other words the ratio between H by H d. So, this is the H and H d. So, the C varies between the ratio of H by H d here. So, if H by H d is greater than 1.33 velocity of approach has negligible effect on the discharge in such a case H a is 0 and since H e is a summation of H d plus H a, if we put H a as 0, so H e will become equal to H d and in that case C will become 2.2. So, as you can see this design chart where C is uh, shown as 2.2 in case of H by H d ratio is 1 point greater than 1.33. However, if H by H d ratio is less than 1.33, a curve like the shown in the figure is used to evaluate the value of C. Now, the upstream slope, the value of C found out up to now is for only the vertical upstream phase, but in case of uh, the upstream V by H ratio is more uh, somewhat different, the correction factor by which above value of C should be multiplied if it is the uh, V by H ratio is something different from 1 is to 1. So, a uh, curve is uh, drawn here. So, in the center this is V by H ratio is 1 is to 1 and here uh, if the slope are different to that. Now, coming to the submergence problem. If this is a case is showing where the submergence problem can arise. So, here H d where d is the depth of submergence and H d plus d again H d is the design head here and d is the depth of this profile and divided by H e is the total again the sum of H a and H d is greater than 1.7. Then what happens? There is no effect on C or the coefficient of discharge. Otherwise, a graph is used to obtain a correction factor, thus we can get a final value of C. Effect of actual prevailing head on the discharge capacity of spillway. So, head over the spillway crest will not be same at all the time. 
So, when the head passing over the spillway is less than the neglect design head, the coefficient of discharge tends to reduce and in that case it is given by C d equal to C uh, the ratio between h by h e whole to the power 0 0.12, where h is actual operating head or the velocity head and h e is the designed head including the velocity head. So, for lower head coefficient of discharge goes on reducing and it tends to become constant at about 1.7. Now, coming to the design of the length of the Woogie spillway. So, here you, you can see the various shape of the priors are located. Uh, so, L e, so L e is the length of the spillway he is a function of uh, L that is the net clear length of the spillway crest and uh, some empirical constant. So, L e is equal to L minus 2 k p n where n is the number of pyres used for the design and, and which is multiplied by h e that is total design head on the crest including the velocity head. As you remember the h e is again the sum of h a plus the, that is velocity of approach plus h t the design head. So, the corresponding different shape of the pyre is shown here. So, it can be in many uh, form like pointed nose pyre again the 90 degree cut wire nose pyre, square pyre with corners round and blunt nose square. So, these are some commonly used pyres are used in practice and depending upon the design we use the coefficient of discharge as well as the C p constant varies. Now, coming to different values of k p. So, for the square nosed pyre without any rounding as you can see here, this is the square nose power pyre but the corners rounding. But here the square nose pyre with without any rounding the coefficient of uh, contraction is taken as 0 0.1. Again the square nose pyre with corner rounded on radius equal to 0 0.1 of pyre thickness it is 0 0.02. So, like that for different values of uh, different kind of shape the pyre shape as well as the shape of abutment the coefficient of contraction the value k p as well as the coefficient of uh, contraction coefficient uh, k a varies and a table value is given depending upon the problem at hand. Now, these are uh, some of the simple design principles which we explained earlier and now based on that once we have the problem it will be more clear how to design a Woogie spillway. So, now coming to the design problem, uh, design a suitable section of what the overflow portion of a concrete gravity dam having the downstream face sloping at a slope of 0.7 horizontal and 1 vertical. The design discharge for the spillway is kept around 8000 cubics. The height of the spillway crest is kept as relative level of 204 meter and average river bed level at the site is 100 meter. The spillway length consists of 6 spans having a clear width of 10 meter each. So, this information will need it for um, designing the capacity and the thickness of the pyre may be taken to be 2.5 meter. So, these are some of the basic information we are given. So, how to design the spillway in this case? So, first we will uh, study the discharge capacity of the spillway and the length and then one by one we are going to uh, approach this problem. So, first as we mentioned earlier, so h is the height here and h e is the total height which is combination of velocity of approach as well as design head. So, these things we already have in mind. So, the discharge equal to the constant of times the L e the length e and h to the power 3 by 2. So, let us first out and work out an approximate value of h e here. So, the L e is the length of the clear waterway which was uh, 
as I explained earlier which is a 6 pi so 6 multiplied by 10 which is the 10 meter was the width of this spans. So, this a total length is around 60 meter. So, now plug in into this uh, figures here. So, the discharge is 8000 and C we first it is an approximation. So, first we take now C as 2.2 and H E is the 60 meter L is the 60 meter here and H E and 3 to the exponent 3 by 2. So, right like this we calculate the value of H E which is the total head is coming around sorry total head is coming around 15.5 meter. Now, coming to the next step height of the spillway above the river bed. So, here H is 204 which is this figure here the height of the spillway crest is kept R L as 204 meter and the average river bed level at the site is 100 meter. So, the total height of the spillway crest is H 204 subtracted by 100 is total now 104 meter. Now, since H by H D that is the ratio between 104 and the design head is more than 1.33, we can directly uh, assume that it is a high spillway and therefore, the effect of velocity head is negligible. Since H D plus D upon H E is also we calculate and we uh, found that it is again more than 1.7. So, here we can conclude that discharge coefficient is not affected by tail water condition and the spillway remains act as a high spillway. Now, we design the upstream profile. The upstream face of the dam and spillway is proposed to be kept vertical here. However, a batter of 1 is to 10 will be provided from stability point of view in the lower part which is shown here. So, this batter is small and uh, will not have any effect on the coefficient of discharge. So, this is the axis of the spillway which is supposed to be kept vertical. However, a better clearance of 1 is to 10 is provided for stability point of view which is shown here. Now, coming to the design of effective length of the spillway where length is given by this formula assuming the 90 degree cut water and nose pires and rounded abutment shall be provided. So, in this case we have from the table the K p value is 0 0.01 and the K a is 0.1. And as the problem given the number of pi r was 5, so n equal to 5 here. So, assuming the actual value of H e is slightly more than the approximate value which is worked out here, we let it say 16.3 meter. So, H e uh, uh, coming to the L e after plugging all these values here which is the length is coming out to be 55.1 meter. Now, plugging to the old equation uh, the discharge uh, coming here the H e is 16.4 meter uh, where again the coefficient of discharge was taken as 2.2 and L we calculated the 55.1. So, if we plug these values here we get the H e value as 16.3 meter. Hence, the assumed H e for calculating L e is ok and the crest profile will be designed for H D that is at height 16.2 meter and neglecting the velocity head. Now, coming uh, to alternate way of calculating the velocity of approach. So, the velocity of approach can be calculated in any of these two formula other than the one we calculated. So, velocity of approach is can be the ratio of the discharge divided by the area so, since uh, this is the area calculation and the discharge we already given as the 8000 cumex and thickness of each pyre is 2.5 meter and we have the 5 pyres and this is taken here and the velocity of head is V square by 2 g. So, 
this is this way also it can be calculated. So, this is very small therefore, it neglected. Now, coming to the downstream profile, the downstream profile is given by following formula. So, before we determine various coordinates of downstream profile, we first determine the tangent point. The downstream slope of the car is given as 0.7 horizontal and 1 vertical. So, dy by dx is 1 upon 1.7. So, now we need to differentiate and after differentiating this equation, we can get the x value as 22.4 meter and y value as 14.6 meter. Now, we have this coordinate and after plugging this value, we can get the profile shape or the curve. Now, the upstream profile may be designed using this equation and using H d equal to 16.4 meter, we can get a profile shape here and this curve should go up to x equal to minus 0.27 H d which is shown here. Now, after plugging this value one upon another, we can get the clear x values and corresponding to y value of profile shape we can obtain. So, now this profile of the spillway is plotted in the figure and a reverse curve at the toe as is mentioned here h by 4. So, 26 meter can be drawn at an angle of 60 degree as in shown in the figure. So, so, in this way the profile shape is located, this is a tangent point, the axis of the spillway and this is the height that 1 is to 10 batter clearance is provided here at an angle and here r equal to 26 meter uh, profile at the end. So, this, this way you design a uh, woogie spillway and this lecture is ended here. Thank you.